For the second part of our Roy Lichtenstein inspired still life, we're going to add our color. When he added the color, he didn't fill in everything. Some things stayed white, some things got color, and other things got stripes or dots. So the first mission is we're using marker to fill in the things that are gonna get colored and to add our stripes. And if you want dots for anything, that will come last with paint and Q-tips. So for example, on my cup, I would fill in the inside with black marker to make it look darker. Then on the outside, I would pick a color. I'll go with blue. And what I'm going to do is draw, it's called a hot spot. This section will stay white, the rest will get colored, and this will make the cup look round. And please, when you're using your marker, it's good to trace the object first. And remember that conical tip, the skinny part is for skinny things, and the side is for wide things. And go slow enough that your ink has time to flow to the tip. So you get nice bold color and it doesn't look like your marker's dying. And I can do that same trick on the markers up here since they're a cone. I can draw two lines. And the left and the right side are the ones that get color and then the middle stays white to make it look round. My next mission is to add some stripes like Roy. So I'm going to bump and jump over my objects and use a ruler. And for your stripes, you could use vertical lines, which is what I'm making. They go straight up and down. You could use horizontal lines. You could use diagonal lines. Just don't mix and match in the same section of your page. And last but not least, now that my marker work is done, I've got diagonal lines, vertical lines, everything's colored that I want to be colored. I'm going to leave the shell alone. I'm going to add polka dots like Roy Lichtenstein did. Only we're using a Q-tip and paint and just bounce straight up and down. And Roy was very, very careful when he made his work. So our polka dots are going to be in nice, neat rows. Remember, you only do them after you're done with all your marker work. And keep your dots from touching each other. There should be space in between them.